Girls, it's Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are trying some brand new launches for the face. We're gonna play with a brand new foundation and a brand new concealer. So before we get started, hit the subscribe button, share this video with somebody you think might like it, and let's do it. All right, so we're playing with the brand new Hourglass launch. This is in color number seven, and this is the Soft Glow Foundation. I'm gonna tell you already, I've already worn this once. It's too dark for me. It's definitely more of like when I have a spray tan. Um, and then I have not tried this. This just came in, and I have another brand new foundation that you guys have asked me to try that will be for next week. But this is the Born This Way uh, Ethereal, Ethereal, Ethereal Light. Uh, illuminating Smooth Concealer in Pecan. I have not tried this yet. Okay, so this is how I've done this with this foundation. We are gonna wear it today like we normally do, and we are going to give it a really good wear test. For me personally, this is a fuller coverage, and so I am gonna use it on a damp beauty sponge. I have used it on a brush and it's fine, but for me personally, a sponge is going to be the best uh, formulation because my skin is more on the dry side. So this is how it's going to go. Do you see how full coverage that is? Let me turn down my light. There we go. Look at that. Holy cow. Yes. <laughs> so it is a touch dark. Um, I don't feel like I need a primer with it. Um, you know, this is the thing, you know, I, Hourglass Foundations and me have not always worked out well, except for their tinted moisturizer. I absolutely love their tinted moisturizer. I just want you to see uh, the difference between the sides. See how pretty it is? It's really pretty. It's very glowy. Um, it's very full of coverage. I only did a pump and a half. Um, so of course you can always use less. I mean, let's be real. I'm like really into trying new foundations again and trying new concealers since we are able to wear ma makeup again, or I guess I feel like I can wear makeup again. Okay, and again, we will always go into natural light, but I like to show you in two different lights so you guys can get the gist of it. So if you want my true color, I'm probably a step and a half down from this. You see? Yes. Okay, so it is full coverage. The only thing I've noticed so far with this foundation is it's pretty. It just, it isn't as like smoothing as you would hope it to be. But um, I will show you that I put either their powder over this or the Charlotte Tilbury loose powder and it seems to go on much, you know, it looks much more flawless. I will show you. Okay, let's try this concealer. I'm really excited. It's supposed to be very illuminating, very hydrating and more on this kind of like medium coverage, full coverage, you know, tip. This is actually almost my exact skin tone, so it might not be as light as I like it, but we're gonna try it. Okay, I would call this a very lightweight concealer. So the coverage is much more natural. So this is gonna be for my natural girls, which is also me. I think we all have a little glam and natural in us. You can see I'm going a little more glam today with the eyeshadow. Yes, okay, so we're gonna see how how this this uh, concealer wears, but if it was me, this I would wear this concealer with a um, tinted moisturizer because it does not cover very much at all and actually kind of moves the foundation, so you definitely want to use this with something a little bit more lightweight. Or with your fingers, you know what? Probably with your fingers or with a brush. Here, let's do that. Where's my Angie hot and flashy? Um, okay, I usually, oh, here she is. Let's try with a brush. You can see how lightweight it is. I'm literally like kind of piling this on, which of course, you know, there's everybody out on the internet that has opinions on how much concealer we all need to wear. You make your own mind up. Much better with a brush, still not full coverage. If that's your jam, if you don't want something full coverage, then cool. 
brush all the way, not sponge or fingers, okay? Much more full coverage. All right, so let me show you what I, how I set it. So I'm just gonna take the Magic Powder number two from Charlotte. You, of course, can use the Hourglass Finishing Powder. That's what I would do as well. I just don't have it right here. And we're just gonna set this bad boy. This finishing powder from Charlotte Tilbury has a very similar finish to the Hourglass. It has a little luminosity to it, so that's why for me I kind of interchange, interchange them. But the reason why I'm setting this, because I don't usually set all of my foundations, is I felt like, especially we're, you know, we're nearing the fall season, but it's still literally 100 degrees outside, and this will move throughout the day if I do not um, set it properly. Forehead barely needs to be set. So this is where we're at. Let me go ahead and put on my blush and let me put you into natural light. All right, so before I went into natural light, I wanted to show you what this looks like. Um, I am going to obviously take you, um, but I'm gonna tell you that the, the concealer creases just a little bit, but very easily tapped out with your finger, okay? And I'm not quite sure, it's just, the powder never makes me look dry the foundation has a tendency to look a little dry. So what I might do is hit it with a little bit of like toner or setting spray to kind of bring that glow back. All right, so back again in my daughter's room because she has the best natural light in here. So this is what it looks like. Do you see what I mean like right here? I mean, I think it looks good. I just feel like it makes it look a little bit dry right here. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section. Um, but overall, it looks nice. It feels extremely lightweight. Uh, there really is nothing to complain about. It has no fragrance. It goes on like a dream. So let's see how it wears. And maybe what it'll do is it'll get a little bit better when my natural oils start to kind of come up. And that has a tendency to hydrate and moisturize it. But so far, this foundation is great for all skin types. And um, I think it looks great. We went real dramatic today, didn't we? <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh, right, so it has been about four hours later. You can actually really see the difference in this light between my face and my neck. That's kind of embarrassing. Um, anyway, I changed my outfit because I'm going to go somewhere with Greg. But anyway, foundation looks good. Um, it, I don't think it's come off very much in the past four hours. I'm about to go be outside though, so we're gonna kind of get back into some weather. Um, I just feel like my skin has looked better and um, it's just, it's not getting any glowier. So that's my only kind of hesitancy with this foundation is that um, it's just, I just don't think it's suited well for my skin, um, even though you know, it feels good on the skin. It just feels like it looks makeup y and dry. But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Okay, I'll see you guys in a few more hours. All right, so it is the end of the night, and this is kind of where we're at. I'm just going to say this the concealer is nice. I just don't think it's enough coverage for me, and it kind of just faded away throughout the day, but if that is your jam, it's a very good concealer. If you just kind of want something that's a light wash. Um, it ha Everything has been on though, honestly, for at least like nine hours. I don't love the foundation. It's probably something that I would return if I could, it's been too long. Um, so that's kind of how I feel. If you've tried this, let me know. See if there's another way that I should be applying it. I also did apply it over a kind of more uh, glowy tinted moisturizer, so it should have more glow. But um, I just don't love how it looks on the skin and how it wore. So that's it. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in the next one. Lots of love from me to you. Mwah. Bye, loves.